Let's go to Structure, Views, Add New View. Let's give it a name called Music Library. Scroll down. Show content of type Music Library. All right. So we create a page, page title. This one is fine. Now display format, we choose J Player. Okay, we choose this as views. Scroll down. Let's create a menu link and link it to main menu. Music library, that's fine. Scroll down, let's save it. Continue and edit. Now you'll find a notice here at the top. It says, a J player display style requires being configured, so at least one view is selected to provide a far path. Now since we haven't configured this yet, so it won't allow us to save the views. And there's no way we can configure here as we haven't entered even into views. So what we can do is, let's scroll down, switch this display format from J player back to original first, unformatted list, right? Scroll down and continue and add it. Now it will let us to proceed. Fine. Now let's click on this unformatted list. Switch it back to J player. Now it says here, select a view that will contain a file path to an MP3 file. But there's no such view yet. So we leave it alone first. Let's click apply. Now it shows the same matrix again down below here. That is fine. We'll handle that. Now let's add the music view that we use it to upload the music. And the views. Click add. It's called music, right? So we'll choose this one. This one is our taxonomy, remember? So we'll choose content, music. Apply. No need the label. For this formatter, we will choose URL to file. So in this case, it will show the path to an MP3 file. Let's click apply. Scroll down. All right, we haven't really assigned yet. So back to J player settings. And this time we'll pick music. All right, apply. Scroll down. Now here you can see the player. However, you notice it's still not working. There's no song listed, but only showing the player. So this way, it's not working. Now, no worry. I'll bring you here to tell you just not to try this way. Even it sounds logic, but it won't work because I have tried it out. <laughs> okay, I'll bring you back to the right track, all right? Trust me. So we will continue. Now, before working further, let's see the output of this music field. Let's scroll out again. We have to switch to other format before we can see the output of the music view, right? So we switch it to this back to unformatted list. Apply and check it out. Now this is the music view which actually output the file path as we want. So Z player needs this kind of file path to generate the playlist, alright? Now instead of using this music view to output the path, which doesn't work for J player, we use another field called file path. Now before that, let's remove this music field to avoid confusion. Scroll up, music field, and remove. Let's click on this advanced. Now here we need to add a relationship. Okay. Look for file, file usage, file, apply. Apply. Now this time we can add a few here. Right? Add. Look for path. Now we choose file path. The path of the file. Now apply. Disable the label and click apply. Scroll down. Now you will see the output path in this way. Where this public is referring to your public file storage path you declare in your file system. Anyway, it was still working with J player, no worry. Now if you want to see the full path, you can click again. 
go up, click on this view, and check this. Display download path instead of file storage URL. Apply, scroll down, now you'll see the full path. As I said earlier, either you render the path in this way or the previous one, your J player is still working fine. Now you can test it out later. Since this path makes more sense to us, we'll keep this. Now let's go up again. Now under format, this time on formatted list, we switch it back to J player. Apply. This time we'll choose file path. Now for kind, we'll choose playlist. You can also choose singer, but we are going to make it a playlist. There are some other options you can configure as well, like autoplay and uh, you know whether to repeat or not after the song finish. Let's click apply. You can try it yourself later. Now let's scroll down and check it out. That's great. Now you can see all the music in the playlist. Now you can play the music. Switch music. That's great. Now I know what you are thinking. Because the title is a bit messed up, right? It shows the title as well as the path. So how to get rid of the path here? Easy. We just need to hide a few from displaying. So let's scroll up. And click on path. Let's create a label. Call it hidden. Exclude from display. Apply. Scroll down. Now it's beautiful. Try it again. Great, now. Let's set the filter and expose it for the people to choose. Now scroll up. Under filter criteria, we'll add. This time we'll add the taxonomy. So it's called music genre right so we select this one apply drop down now everything gone so let's close it i think it's affected by the jquery let's switch to other jquery version and try now before that let's remove this view and add again later we'll remove it let's save the views first now coffee jQuery. So for the back end, we're currently using 1.7. Let's configure. Let's switch to site default, which is 1.10 first. See if it works. Now back to our views, structure views, library. Scroll down and add one more time. Genre. Yes. Apply. Yes, drop down, that's fine, it works great. Apply and continue. So let's expose this filter to visitors so that you can choose. And label, we'll clean it up a bit. Scroll down. There are some options you can choose over here, like allow multiple selections if you want to, but I'll give it as it is. Now I'll apply, scroll down. Let's preview this. Now there's one filter you can see added here. You can filter accordingly. The classical, I apply. I will only see the classical music. All right. Country and folk songs, apply, you know, for this music. That's great. Now let's improve it a bit more. Let's set a search for title so that people can search for particular music by typing in their music name. All right. If your library has hundreds and thousands of music, Surely you need a better search. Now let's scroll up. We'll add one more. Call it title. Okay. Check it. Apply. And export this one. Title. Yes. Operator. We'll set it to contains any word to widen the search. Let's scroll down. Apply. And check it out. Again, now this time you have one more search form here. Let's scroll up and save the views. Go and take a look how it looks like. As view page, 
it looks great so we can filter by music genre and apply we can also search the title for example dusty great let's add in one more reset button here go back to our view now scroll down under expose form here if you know views well you can actually expose these search filters to a block and put wherever you like but we won't do this if we continue to explore every single thing in views we'll never finish the project now expose form style let's click on settings here scroll down I can click on auto submit if you want to right you can also include a reset button we'll include a reset button here apply scroll down so you have a reset button here let's scroll up and save it I click on reset okay let's proceed to the next